Hey, what's going on dudes? My name is TDC and welcome back to my Minecraft world. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic today today. Today today? Yeah, we'll go with it. Why not? Um, <laughs> dudes, so I have been super busy over this weekend. I've got a little bit of free time and I used it to kind of start working on this area over here. I did a couple of things. We went ahead and planted some trees and stuff around here. We were talking about this last episode. Uh, when we were doing this whole dining hall area here. I haven't done anything on the inside yet because I haven't really had the uh, the desire to spend the time that it takes with chisel and bits yet. So eventually we will, but I wanted to work on some of the other more important things, at least to make things look a little bit better. And I wish this rain would go away. I slept and then as soon as I woke up it started raining. So now I gotta wait for the next night time here. But uh, yeah, so let me show you what we got going on here. I planted a few of these spruce trees here and it seems like, I don't know if maybe it's just this biome or what, but all of these spruce trees are spawning in like the really tall ones with just a little bit of leaves on the top and it's driving me nuts, man. Oh, I don't like it. We got a few good ones here and there. Um, this one is okay, I like the way that one looks. And I think there's another one over here on the other side of the building here. Now that's another little weakling. Weakling one two. Where'd it go? There's another one. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. There it is. That one. That one's actually pretty decent. I like the way those ones are shaped. But um, yeah. So on top of the trees, we got a bunch of waterworks done. <laughs> Um, I spent a lot of time, I remember, I think I talked about it last episode, but where I said I wanted to do like a waterfall type thing coming down from the top of that mountain. So what I did was I filled in the top of this. If we can get up there, I'll show you. Um, I filled in the top of all of that. Is that going to make it? Oh, I did. Um, just with stone brick. So nothing crazy special. I worked my way up on top of that mountain. I planted one bucket of water. And luckily, most of it landed on top of the roof here. And I went ahead and filled all of this in with water. Just kind of made like a pond thing. And like I said, luckily, most of it fell on the roof. But we did get a little leakage back here in the back. But that's okay. Um, and then I broke this block. All three of these, actually. And that spills over into like this little pondy area right here next to the pathway. So I was talking about how I wanted to build a bridge and stuff right here. And kind of connect all of this up. And so that's what I did. And uh, I think we'll probably be working on this little area today. But uh, yeah, other than that, I connected this through here. And this cave right here, this is actually, it's not really a special cave or nothing. It's just one of those little beginnings of a cave that just dead ends like super, like right away. So I just got the water spilling in there. We've got this one here, which is an unexplored cave, which we'll probably explore soon. Um, that could be kind of cool. I need to do some mining. I need to go get some more diamonds and all that stuff. Uh, and I don't necessarily want to use my speed mine. I'd like to actually do some caving. It's been forever since I've done caving in this world. And what else? That platform right there, I think I'm going to try to build a custom tree here. I think would be kind of a cool spot for it. Kind of in front of this, uh, in front of the dining hall and all that stuff. Man, this rain is driving me crazy. I gotta sleep. Is it nighttime yet? I don't think it's nighttime yet. I want to sleep. Uh, <laughs> I can't think with all this rain going on. Um, but what else? It's basically just been kind of trees and getting everything lined up. So, yeah, I don't think I did anything over here. Or did I? I just planted a few trees, a few of the spruce trees, and a few of the normal oak trees, little bitty ones. And I got to thinking, we got a lot of water going on on this side over here, and I kind of like it. I like that the other side is a little bit drier, but over here we could have like a lot of water features. So I think that could be kind of cool. So like my idea for this side was what I was thinking, I blocked all this off with leaves here, is to maybe connect it all and have it run down here, because this is where our pathway is going to be. We could have it kind of run down the side of this all right here. And we could have another little pondish area here. And we can get rid of this lava. But that could be another little water feature type thing that we got going on. And I just I did some exploring kind of around this area just to see what we had going on. And there is some cool stuff, man. I cannot wait to start building over in these areas. So um, let me show you what we got going on over here. Oh, God, you scared me. Um, we got this side of things over here, right? So it's all the roof forest biome, 
um, and it kind of opens up over here into the plains biome. But on this side of things, look at all these floating islands that we got going on. There's a lot of sand. It's like a completely different feel. It's like got an avatar feel thing to it, and I like it a lot. Um, so I'm kind of excited to start building over here. And there's a small little path connecting these two areas together. And I think it'd be pretty neat. I think it's right up here. So, yeah, this one connects right here. And there's another one where there's, I think it's like right on the other side of this hill, where there's a really thin wall of stone and stuff, just like natural formation that we could get rid of. And it opens up into all of this. Because look how cool all this stuff is in here. We've got all these floating islands, like different things. The clouds are kind of in the way right there, but there's a couple floating islands up there. And I think there's a few more here and there. But yeah, there's some really, really cool stuff, man. I cannot wait to start building over there. It's going to be really neat. But I think today we're just going to work on, oh gosh, um, our little pathway area thing and uh, see how that all turns out. So I'm going to go grab some materials. I'm going to wait for this rain to go away because it's melting my brain. And uh, yeah, we'll be right back. See, doesn't this area already look so much better with all the foliage and everything that's going on? The trees, just the, like the little bit of colors. It adds so much to these smaller areas like that and it just brings it all together. I love it. Um, all right, so I think over here, I was trying to figure out how we're gonna do this bridge. I was thinking we'd just go straight across, but that's kind of boring. So I'm thinking if we start the bridge kind of like right up next to this wall and we'll do a diagonal bridge straight this way, um, we can end up like right next to the tree or just right there where the, the land starts. So let's go ahead and grab some materials here. This is what I got to work with. We're, build <laughs> we're building a lot of bridges here recently and I apologize for that, but um, we kind of have to connect everything though, don't we? <laughs> so, I don't know. I feel like we've just been building a lot of bridges here recently. So, let's see. Is that going to be a good start? I think it should be. So, we'll come out like so. And do we want it to end right here? I guess we could. Oh, no. Um... Let's go out one more, like so, and I think uh, that might be too close to the tree. But yeah, let's go ahead and do it right here. So let's grab our laws, we'll keep those out. So we'll come up like that, and then we'll do one, two, so right there. Is that right? Yeah, it looks right. We got the same design on the other side, yeah. And so now we can just kinda fill all this in like so yeah not bad it is a little close to this tree but I guess that's not the worst thing that can happen um, I don't have any gravel or anything on me so we'll have to connect on uh, or work on the, the pathways here in a little bit we may do that but I'm gonna go ahead and throw all this in here try to fill in this gap so smooth things out just a tad but, other than that, what else? We gotta do some foliage decoration. I really, really would like to try to find a swamp here soon. So we can start throwing in some lily pads and other things like that. But I need to, actually, you know what? We need to go check the fish farm and see if we got any lily pads over there. I'm thinking that we probably do. So, yeah, I'm gonna go grab a few more materials since we got that bridge pretty much all set up. Um, I'm gonna go, what? What? Monsters. Uh, okay. I don't know where they're at. But yeah, I'm going to go grab some more materials, some leaves and um, plant life and different things like that that we can try to kind of tie this whole area together. And yeah, we'll be right back. Alright, so I think we got enough stuff to work with here. I've already thrown down about a stack of leaves. I did some there, kind of connected this up here and kind of wrapped around this tree here. And I think it actually looks pretty decent. Uh, let's throw some purple flowers right there and I guess right here we should probably also do some grass to kind of connect things up some um, eventually I'm gonna go get some more gravel and some stone brick and stuff like that so we can actually make start working on the path here I may end up lining it out like we got the path over on the other side but for now I think we'll just leave it as grass and I think we'll be okay. I was going to say we could try using the path, but 
I really don't like the path. It just, it doesn't look like a path to me. <laughs> you know, I don't know, maybe that's just me, but I don't really care for it too much. It's nice to add into like some spots, but not everywhere. Like as big a path as we got going on, I like making my own and not doing just the, the cheap cop out with the shovel. <laughs> not, you know, not that there's anything wrong with that, but I just think that like when you actually take the time to build a path, it just looks better. Maybe that's just me. Um, but let's come over here, and on this side, we can actually we need to connect all this up too. So we may try to do that. This might be kind of a cool little angled staircase right here. It'd be kind of neat. Uh, let's throw some lighting over here. Oh, that freaked me out, man. I heard fire. I'm gonna have to get used to hearing that fire. That's a big fire. Um, I guess we can go ahead and go sleep real quick too. Might as well. Oh, I moved the bed. It's over here now. Um, yeah. So it's gonna be fun building the custom tree right there, man. That's gonna take a lot of work, but I think it'll actually look really, really nice. And there's also I got a couple of spots picked out for custom trees too. So right here, kind of see this hard angle. That is a spot that I wanted to do a custom tree. I tried planting a two by two spruce there. And I could not get it to grow. That's why it's all dug out. So I tried digging out some of the sides here to see if we could get it to grow. But I went through like three stacks of bone meal trying to get this thing to grow. And I could not. So I kind of figured right here we're going to do some sort of big custom tree. And maybe we can have it kind of hang over this way some. It could be kind of neat. But it would kind of block off the view of those houses. So I'm not sure how we could get that to work. But I think we can make it. It should be possible. <laughs> I'm not real sure. We'll figure it out when the time comes, but we'll get it going. So this is already starting to look so much better over here. Now we could, I want to do something with this cave entrance. Maybe we could like set it up as like a mine or something. I'm not really sure what we could do. We'll have to figure something out here. I think for now I'll probably just like fence the area off a little bit. And maybe we could do like a half slab staircase or something spiraling down into it. But I think for now we'll just kind of leave it as is. But let's see what else we can do. Let's grab some more leaves. Let's do some spruce leaves this time. I'm thinking if we throw some over here. I feel like this area could use it. I think we're going to leave this path pretty narrow right here and we'll throw down some like cobblestone fences or something to kind of block this area off some but I think I think I like it narrow instead of trying to widen this out some it just kind of takes away from this whole area so we'll leave it as is and we'll throw some leaves down like so get up in here oh no and I made sure to uh, when I did these waters waters when I do these little ponds I started from the bottom and worked my way up um, going around the outside here so they're all source blocks so when we come in here we can actually get out it's not like it's flowing down and it's gonna drown us so that makes this things a little bit easier because I knew that we were gonna be doing a custom tree here so that's gonna be a huge pain in the butt if we because I know we're gonna be falling off the tree when we do it um, so I wanted to make sure that we had source blocks there too so Maybe like that. Is that good? I guess we can't really see from that side. Let's come over here. Yeah, that's not bad. And maybe we should do some kind of growing on the side here. Where do you? Ooh, sapling. Uh, put that one there and then we'll kind of have growing like that. Maybe connect it up. I don't know. Let's just let's see. Uh, let's grab some more ender pearls. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that was close. I puckered a little bit. Um, up. There we go. Yeah, that actually looks pretty good. Oh, no, okay. Don't fall in the hole again. Um, we could also do another little bridge right here if we wanted to, too, to connect these two land masses. Land masses, well, these two parts. That actually doesn't look that bad. I need... Oh, I guess I forgot to put, uh, trap doors on these two pieces of glowstone here. So that's not that bad, but... Hmm. 
We could also... I just don't know if we're going to be doing anything over on this side. Ooh, flowers. Take these. Just so we have them. But yeah, like all these little weird gaps and stuff like that, I want to try to either fill in with water or actually fill in with dirt. But if we fill this all in with dirt... Ooh, you know what? We could actually maybe connect all of this. How'd you get over there, dude? He's so fast. Um, yeah, we could actually connect that up. We'll have to go see where this water goes, or that little... Oh! Die. Let's go see where this goes, actually, and see if maybe we can connect up some more water here. Because this would be easy enough to fill in a few layers in the bottom, and then make that an actual pond. We got some more water over here. Where does it go? Anywhere? There's another spruce I planted. It would be kind of cool to have like a river going through here. We'd have to get rid of all that lava though. Into like another little pond or something down here. That would be kind of neat. That's going to be a lot of work, but that could be pretty cool. I could dig it, man. I don't know. So that's another idea. Um, there's just so many different things we got to do around here to start getting this together. So I think after this episode, what I'm going to do is try to work on the path and get this going. So once we kind of see where the path is going, and now that we got the trees and stuff planted, I can kind of start picking out spots about where I want to start building things. Like over here, there's definitely going to be some sort of house here, um, for sure, built into the side of the hill. And then there was another spot that I wanted to do something with. I don't remember where it is now. It's somewhere around here. Maybe I'm thinking of the custom trees. I'm not real sure. But yes, yeah, so we got a little bit of work to do. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time here real quick. I'm going to try to flush some of this out and see if I can get it to look cool. I'll probably go ahead and make the fences and stuff and block all this off. And then, uh, yeah, I'll come back and show you what we got. All right. So I think we're getting pretty close here. Um, how is this? I don't know. It looks little funky so what if we let's get rid of this guy here how does that look I don't know this needs some work this area right here needs some work for sure uh, but I was just trying to work on a little bit of a staircase coming up here and while we're up here let's go ahead and lay down some of these like so and then a couple there right there uh, yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, not bad at all. Alright, so I went ahead and I put some fence and stuff around this hole. <laughs> which we got to figure out what we're going to do with. And then I went ahead and made this bridge here and kind of connected all this up and added some leaves and stuff around the trees just to kind of make it look a little bit nicer. And then I got this area here, which I'm not real sure what we're going to do with yet. We could do something maybe built into the side of this mountain. Or we could just kind of leave it blank. If we wanted to, I do definitely want to work on this water thing, so I'll probably try to do some of that a little bit later on. But it would be really cool to get all of that tied up there and getting that looking really cool. So, um, as far as what else we can do for today, I'm not 100% sure. I think we're just about done. But let's try. I put these on the other one. I wanted to see what it looks like over here. I don't think I like the stone brick slabs on the sides of the bridges here. It's not bad looking, but it just looks a little funky. And we could maybe even try to... Let's try real quick. We've got the slabs and stuff. We could maybe even try to like bring this up. Like this. And then get rid of everything underneath. Eh, maybe? I don't know. It looks a little funky, doesn't it? From the side, what does it look like? I think if we get rid of all of these here. Oh, but those are full blocks now, aren't they? Dang it. <laughs> Let's say if we just see it like going up. I don't know, maybe if we did it like that. That wouldn't look so bad. It's really dark over here though. I gotta work on lighting some sort of some of this stuff up. I 
think that looks a little bit better. So I'm going to have to get up underneath there. Whoop, what am I saying? I'm going to have to get up underneath there and uh, cut some of these out and then do the half slabs on top. See if we can get it to look a little bit better. But I think that kind of gets the uh, the point across. We definitely need to come over here and add some like the lanterns, the post lantern light post things that we got up in the front side of the village. So I've got a lot of work cut out for me here. <laughs> and I'm not sure what we're going to do at next episode because I definitely want to also work on some new farms. Um, somebody left a comment saying we need better animal farms and that is for sure. And we just need, we need some that are a little bit more efficient. Like actual Minecraft farms, not ones that look pretty. I'm tired of eating fish. These things only do, was it like two hunger hunches? Two and a half or something like that? Yeah, two and a half. And it's just, it's not good man it just takes forever to fill up my hunger and we go through food like crazy so we need some actual farms and I was thinking down here in the actual ravine village ooh that hurt um, and these little huts and stuff that we got going over here I'm not sure about on this side if we'll have enough room but if we do something like on this side we could dig in we could make a huge area and then we could set up some actual like automated farms like I, I'd like to do like an automated sugarcane farm since I don't have a whole lot of sugar cane around here, it might be kind of neat to set one of those up in here and have it fully automated um, using like pistons and hoppers and water streams and stuff to move things around and put them in chests. And I feel like this would be a good spot to do it because we could have all our farms in different designated rooms, right? So like say in this one we could have a cow farm um, and then we could have a sugar cane farm here. We could have like a pumpkin farm or something. Although my pumpkin farm that I have up there it actually works pretty well. Um, but I don't know. You know, you kind of get the idea. There's a lot of different things that we could do here. And I think this would be a good spot for it. And it would kind of give the illusion that the little houses and stuff that we have built into the side of the mountains here actually, you know, are lived in. <laughs> There's something going on inside the houses and they're not just facades. So that's an idea. We could definitely do something like that and see what happens. But I think for today, I'm going to go ahead and call it quits. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button for me down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next episode, all right? Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you then. Peace.